Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee, having my coffee here this morning. And I uh, want to talk a little bit about long-term food storage and uh, how to cook that stuff. And the big one that you always hear everybody talk about is rice. And uh, rice is sort of a staple in uh, the prepper community. It's one of the first things that you hear people recommend to other people that they should get and uh, have on hand. And I'm going to go through a couple different ways to cook rice and then uh, some of the different seasonings that we use and sort of how I use rice on a day-to-day -day basis here. And uh, first of all, the brands of rice. I will typically, when I buy rice to put up in long-term storage, I will buy a name brand rice. I will buy something like uh, Riceland or Golden Star Jasmine Rice or, uh, what is it, Mahatma is another one that's a name brand that I bought. Or I'll buy the rice at... Um, like the Asian market or the ethnic stores. I just find that stuff to be better quality than like the store brand rice or the stuff that you get like at the dollar store. There's always a lot of bro uh, broken pieces in those and stuff. And I like, if I'm putting up uh, stuff for long-term storage, I want it to be better. And uh, the next thing is uh, how to cook it. Now, if you're a prepper and you're starting to get into it and uh, you're starting to put this stuff away, one of the best things that you can have, you know, whether you're an old school prepper or a new prepper, is get yourself a rice cooker. I bought this rice cooker just here recently. It was $28. Our old one was starting to kind of go on us, so I got us a new one. Now, I understand if the grid is down, you're not going to be able to use an electric rice cooker. And uh, that's understandable, but until that happens... Nothing is going to make your life easier um, when it comes to cooking rice than using a rice cooker. And uh, you can certainly cook rice uh, on the stove. You can cook it out on uh, the campfire. I've actually done rice recipes on the campfire and uh, out, you know, off grid on grill burners and that kind of stuff. I'll put all the links in the description for those videos as well. And uh, getting into the flavor profiles, I will typically make rice once and then use that rice a couple of times to make a couple of different dishes. The first one, of course, is being Asian um, fried rice. And uh, fried rice is something that's easy to make. You can whip it up. You can add your favorite protein into it. You can put your canned pork in it. You can put canned chicken in it. And uh, the big thing is you want a little sesame oil. This stuff is very potent. You don't need very much of it. You can mix it in with a little bit of uh, regular olive oil to give it the flavor of the sesame. You can saute that stuff up, and then you can add your seasonings into it. You can buy pre-made pre seasonings, like the fried rice seasoning, that kind of stuff. But this is basically garlic powder, ginger powder, and pepper is basically all this is. So you can just mimic that with the regular spices you already have. And one thing I never hear anybody talk about when they put up long-term storage for rice is soy sauce. Soy sauce will literally last forever. I have never had soy sauce go bad because it's so salty. It just keeps. And uh, I will typically buy soy sauce in large containers. And then I can use that for pretty much any Asian dish that I want. Um, fried rice. But then it also has another benefit. Soy sauce goes in a lot of smoked meat. So if you want to make beef jerky, you want to make venison jerky, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of recipes that call for soy sauce. So you can also use it as a preserving ingredient. Um, another thing is kind of Indian cooking, your curries, your turmerics, that kind of stuff. If you make your regular rice and you add some curry and some turmeric into it, that's basically a yellow rice. And that is get sort of your gateway to Indian food. And this turmeric here, I buy large quantities of turmeric over at the, uh, Mennonite Amish store, and then we just put it up in mason jars. This is actually one that my dad made up yet uh, for my mom before uh, he passed away, so I'm still kind of using it for sentimental reasons. Cumin is another one. For both uh, Indian cooking and uh, Mexican cooking, cumin is a very important ingredient into rice. And I, if you're getting kind of getting the point here of what I'm doing, if you have the right seasonings, you can turn plain white rice into a bunch of different stuff. Another one that we do is, uh, we do a lot of Cajun rice. And Cajun rice boils down to a couple of different seasonings. Um, Old Bay, I like Slap Your Mama or uh, Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning, basically because it's all in one. You can just add that to your rice. And then if you have some vegetables, you have some peppers, you have some onions, you have some garlic from your garden, you can add that in. You can add your 
smoked sausage into it. You can add ground beef into it. You can add chicken into it. So you have, I don't really necessarily want to call it like a dirty rice, but that's basically on the path of what that is. And a lot of that stuff, a lot of preppers already have. They have, you know, canned chicken, um, you know, your spam. You could use spam for that too in the place of a ham or sausage if you had to. But smoked sausage is another one that's really, really good in that. And then the last one that I want to talk about is uh, sort of your Mexican rice, kind of mimicking the rice that you get like in Mexican restaurants. And basically what that is, is that's your rice cooked with uh, like a chicken bouillon, a chicken uh, broth, and then there's some kind of tomato sauce added into it. I like this right here. This stuff is really inexpensive. And uh, I buy a few of these at a time and put them up. And uh, basically it has your garlic and your onion and everything in it. And I just substitute this for some of the liquid that I would put in the rice and then I would add a little bit more liquid if it needs it throughout the cooking to give you a basic um, kind of like a Mexican rice and then this too is good this is another brand that I use but this is a lot spicier because it has the jalapeno flavoring in it but if you have jalapenos growing in your garden you can throw that in too or you can use your own homemade um, tomato juice that you made from your garden last year or whatever. Another key tip that I was taught a long time ago with rice is if you brown rice a little bit, put a little oil in the pan, brown it before you add your water into it. It increases the flavor um, dramatically. And then you can add your chicken broth into it, maybe a tablespoonful of chopped garlic, and then you got yourself basically a browned rice, which is actually very good. Um, to show a rice cooker here, I went down and got us two cups of rice out of um, our uh, long-term food storage that I'm going to uh, cook for you guys here. And uh, we're actually going to make um, probably some kind of uh, browned rice later in the week, and then I'm going to make uh, cilantro lime rice. And uh, limes can be preserved. You can do salted limes. I did a video on that a long time ago. Salt, le salted lemon and salted lime. And you can use um, the juice from that to actually flavor your rice to give yourself a, a cilantro lime rice. Or if you can get the ingredients fresh, you just uh, make it fresh. But basically, all you got to do to use a rice cooker is you basically plug it in you dump your rice in. Now, I know some people like to rinse rice, and I have rinsed it before in the past, but I'd be a liar if I told you that I always rinse the rice before I cook it, but I just want to let people know that you can do that too as well. And uh, there's a couple different ways that people go about um, doing the rice in the rice cooker. Um, I like putting the rice in, and then I like uh, dumping the water in. I typically will... Um, there's a couple different ways that you can use a rice cooker. I know there's one where you put the rice in and then you put the water in up to your first knuckle in the rice cooker and then that's enough water. But I typically just use the two to one ratio when cooking rice. I will use um, I will use uh, about two and a half or uh, for two cups of rice, I will use about four and a half cups of water. I typically bump the water up a little bit because you always have, when the rice is cooking, you always have that evaporation. The water um, reduces a little bit. So I always find that I'm if I use the exact two to one ratio, it will... Um, it won't be enough liquid in there. So I always try to add about a half a cup extra of liquid before I start uh, cooking it. And basically all you do with a rice cooker is you got your water in here. I got two about two cups of rice and about four and a half cups of water. I just give it a stir. You put the cover on. You hit that down there on cook. And that's basically all that you have to do. And then about 20 minutes or so, this will be done. It'll pop up to warm, and then you'll be good to go. And uh, as a general rule, if you're cooking on the stove or out on the uh, fire pit, you want sort of a medium-low heat after it comes up to a boil. And uh, then you want to just let it simmer, turn it down, or slide it over on uh, your fire pit to let the temperature come down a little bit and simmer till it's done. Well, this when this gets done here, I'm going to show you what the, the finished product looks like here in a rice cooker. But like I said, a rice cooker is a great thing to have. It saves you a bunch of time. If uh, people aren't used to uh, cooking rice, if you're sending another person or a family member to cook, you can just give them the basics on a rice cooker and uh, it's just it's easy peasy. But anyway, when this is cooked here, I'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. 
the rice is done. The rice cooker has uh, popped up to warm, which means that it is done. One of the uh, recipes that I forgot to mention when uh, I was talking about the ingredients is uh, Hungarian rice. And I did a video on Hungarian rice a while back. I'll make sure I put a link in the description for that too. But it's basically like goulash, um, but made with rice. And it's actually uh, very good. It's a good uh, campfire meal. But this is what the rice looks like here after it's set about 20 minutes. Now, if you find that the rice is foaming up while it's starting to cook in the rice cooker, you can put a pat of butter in or you can put in a tablespoonful of uh, olive oil and then that will prevent that uh, foaming up. And when it's to this point, if you want just plain white rice, you're going to uh, fluff this guy up and just add some salt into it and then you can have this as just a plain white rice. Or in my case, I'm going to let this cool down to room temperature and then I'm going to put this whole thing in the refrigerator because this uh, just lifts right out and uh, then it can uh, just hang out until I'm ready to use it. Now we're going to give it a little taste here. It's perfect rice and that is one of the benefits of having a rice cooker like this is you pretty much have good, tender, fluffy rice all the time. And uh, now, because I have this rice cooked, I basically cut my prep time in half for any dish that I want to make with this rice later. Like we're going to do the cilantro lime rice tonight. We'll just reheat this. We'll add a little uh, lime uh, zest, lime juice, and a little chopped up cilantro into it. Heat it up, and it's good. I don't have to wait for the rice to get done because I got it done in advance. Just wanted to share all these uh, tips and tricks here with you guys on how to use probably the biggest prepper staple food that's out there, just plain white rice. Anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment, some ideas as always out of this video here, just using that uh, prepper staple white rice. You guys have a good one.